Hey, Bebo. Sarah Guy down the hall. And I need to let you know about um, the next generation of Amazon Fire TV that comes out next month. And this is what we got so far. It'll support 4K resolution, but only at a, at a maximum frame rate 30 frames per second. It also supports 24 frames per second. Um, lower resolutions, it'll support 24, 25, 30, 50, and 60 frames per second. Uh, 1080 P streams can also support the hep C codec will be used for um, 4K video. So if you have download caps but don't have even have any interest in 4K, uh, you can use the tip of hep C will reduce the amount of bandwidth needed for 1080p and lower resolutions when they're supported. And I think Amazon is uh, trying to get most of their content converted over to hep C so even the so even Ten, so even HD, um, actually, it specifies 1080p, so it might be just 1080p that um, will have lower bandwidth using FC. It'd actually be funny, your 1080p stream will actually have lower bandwidth than a uh, 720p stream, because it's using the uh, H.264. Alright, well, audio, support 7.1 audio. Uh, the thing you do need to know, well, actually, I should probably give you the... Where'd he go? Specs, specs, specs. What audio format do you choose? I should give you the audio formats, but I did not leave that section where I could see it easily. It's Wi-Fi. Give me audio. Here we go. Okay, Dolby Digital Plus. Dolby Digital, Dolby Digital Plus. Black, MP3, BCM Wave, Vorbis, Dolby Atmos on your audio formats. Uh, Video, it's H.265 and H.264. Let's see. Oh, another thing on the audio. Uh, the optical audio port has been removed on this on this new generation. So if you're dependent on that, um, I know that there are HDMI to optical audio connectors that uh, allow a physical connection, but I'm not sure how they handle. Uh, the formatting. I don't, I'm just not knowledgeable on that enough to, to really comment on it. Okay, covered the audio and video aspects. Oh, big detail. Uh, 4K support is only on the box and not on the sticks. So if you buy a stick expecting 4K, you're going to be in trouble. Uh, again, one more time, box only if you want 4K, and presumably have C for 1080p streams. I think both the box and the stick um, support 24 frames per second. I'm not 100% sure. Okay, so if you do want 4K, but want to keep it hidden, um, you are going to be not going to be totally out of luck if you, if you were aiming, wanting to get the stick to keep it hidden, uh, because the new model of the Amazon Fire TV uh, is the same physical dimensions as the current model so behind the TV mounting options will be or wall mounting options will be available will be that already exist for the current Fire TV box will work with a will work with the 4k model the upcoming new 4k model can I say that in a more unwieldy fashion probably let's see if I can not actually do that a dose of life. A dose. Okay, the new Fire Stick TV's remote uh, will get voice search, and, and and it is actually backward compatible with the current model of uh, the Fire TV stick. So those three with the stick are not out of luck. A uh, new feature that will be added is it's going to have a version of Alexa. At first, it's going to be very limited, uh, but they're hoping to add more features, make, getting it more on par with um, Echo's version of Alexa. Another detail you're going to—it's going to be another good detail—is that there is going to be USB storage support. So just plug it, plug in that drive, and you're good to go. I'm not sure what formats are supported though. Or if it'll do the formatting for you or whatnot. 
Okay, the CPU is stated to be 75% faster, while the GPU is stated to be 25, yeah, correction, twice as powerful. 25 times more powerful would be nice and freaky and unbelievable. Now, what is believable is that it's going to have 802.11 AC Wi-Fi support. So, it's now supporting the fastest speed of Wi-Fi you can get. Provided the Wi-Fi is reliable at your location where you're living at. Because it's going to depend on your neighbors, too. And any other outside sources of possible interference. Or inside sources, if they're coming from inside your home, but you can't get rid of them. Okay... Oh, Amazon's ASAP, the pre-caching system it has for um, Amazon, Amazon's own videos. A spin, a speed, it's got a speed boost, it's supposed to be 40% faster. Another new feature that's been added to the box and not the stick is support for a micro SD slot. It's got a micro SD slot and it supports cards up to 128 gigabytes. I'm going to touch a little more on that a little bit later because you're probably having some questions uh, regarding media versus apps. But I have that for them down below. The new Fire TV game has a new game controller. The new Fire TV game controller has support for both voice search and headphones. I'm going to be curious if it's um, to allow it to use for in-game chat. I don't want to hear the other team, but I may want to hear the other members of my team. That's just, that's going to be up to the game developer. Oh, and there is, there's going to be a regular version and a bundled version. The bundled version, just called the game bundle, because that's what you're focusing on, uh, will retail for $140, includes the new remote, a 32 gigabyte micro SD card, and the game Shovel Knight and DuckTales. Uh, one thing I did notice is that the... Uh, Game bundle does not come with a remote. But since you can use the gamepad as a remote, uh, you can figure that's not a problem where you just download a map and use your mobile device. Now here's where I start getting a little bit confused. Now you mentioned that the new Fire TV as well as the other new Fire devices will be running Fire OS 5. Yes! I have been slipping... Oh, all during rehearsal, I've been, try I've been slipping and calling it iOS 5. <sighs> I wonder about myself, too. Okay, but this time to get it right. And, yes, if you're wondering, I will cover um, Apple's t new TV. It's a top box, but that's going to be a separate one. <laughs> okay, back to running. Uh, running. Almost did it. Running Fire OS 5 will get will support downloading cotton to micro SD cards. Older models of um, the Fire devices will be updated to it. Now, the next part is where I'm getting a little bit of the confusion. Now, maybe the OS supports it, but not necessarily the Fire TV will support it. Because, um, next thing I read, uh, was how it was talking about on deck and other aspects of um, Fire OS 5. On deck is, um, is a way of displays new content you downloaded to your device instead of having to dig around through it. So you download a video, it'll just be on on deck, or I think it also applies to audio and books. But here, the quote I got was, um, On Deck will automatically download Prime movies and TV shows to your available storage on your tablet, including space on your micro SD card. So it may allow storage on tablets, but not necessarily on the Fire TV. Um, that'll have to be clarified. Luckily, we won't have long to wait because uh, the new Fire TV, 4K model, for the set top box, not the stick, the box. Uh, will be coming out October 5th for a price of $99. So, you've been holding out, just trying to see uh, who's, which manufacturer is doing what. Um, I lost my thought train. Trying to re-rail! De Derail fixed. Okay. Wanting to see what other streaming manufacturers are going to be putting out. Um, 
right now. We've got uh, Amazon Fire TV and Apple TV. I have a feeling that Roku is going to put out something and it's just wanted to wait for for um, Apple TV and Amazon Fire TV to get to make their announcements. Then the excitement will, d will die down. Then they'll do their announcement. I have no proof of that. This is just wild speculation. They tend to do their launches in the fall, and I know they did um, a slight refresh of their um, of the Roku 3 and Roku 2. Roku 3 having the getting voice search and uh, the 2015 Roku 2. Well, that was both 2015. 2015 Roku 3 getting voice search and uh, 2015 Roku 2 is basically the old Roku 2. Oh, correction, the old Roku 3, except it now has, um, it's a, now it's got Ethernet support, which the previous two didn't have, Roku 2 didn't have, and, uh, composite video outs, which the Roku previous, well, either version of the Roku 3 has, but, um, so Roku doesn't have the luxury of staying stagnant between Amazon Fire TV, Apple's, Apple TV, the manufacturers of various Google TVs. Uh, it doesn't have a really. It's got to do something, or else it might risk being slipping back. And I don't know why I sidetracked on that. That really should be its own separate thing. Um, but, but if you're like waiting for a Black Friday sale. So going to be good to go regardless of what option you're going to go with because you'll just have options and they're going to be trying to compete hard with each other so whichever brand you actually really want to go with it'll create some good competition which would mean some decent pricing and i think that is all i have for now don't forget to like or subscribe so i can keep you updated on news and promos until next time take care bye